this this little piece this little piece right here that costs like 15 bucks or five bucks whatever it is can literally destroy that entire engine if you do not check these regularly so good thing i did good thing i noticed these issues arising <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back. Today is another day, another part of this series with this Saab that we're gonna be fixing. The throttle body has seemed to go have gone bad and there's a local parts car about 10 minutes from my house with a working one, so we're gonna go pick it up. However, why has it failed? And the reason why I think it's failed, if you notice, in the front here, we have some oil, little oil seepage coming from the top. That is telling me two things. One, I know that the valve cover gasket's good because I put one in. But number two, when you look underneath the cover to the throttle body, you'll see that there's some oil fluids coming out the top here. And that is seeping down into the sensors and also seeping down into the bottom, seeping down the back side of the engine, which uh, of course isn't a big deal. However, you know, who likes leaks. So we're gonna fix that. But I think the uh, this little check valve right here is bad. This check valve right here is bad, I believe, and uh, so therefore, I want to test it. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Okay, I've double wrapped a rubber band around this thing, so let's see what happens when you turn the car on, if that blows up a little bit. And as you saw, it was. So that is not good. We're gonna have to replace this check valve. All right, guess what? We have one here. So we're just gonna pop that thing in there and uh, go on our way. All right, there's the old one. And obviously, even when I put my mouth to it and blow into it, it, it is leaking. So that is going to fix this little oil seepage that's going on here which we don't like and of course more importantly the oil that's blowing by through the throttle body so lesson learned there for you guys um this this little piece this little piece right here that costs like 15 bucks or five bucks whatever it is can literally destroy that entire engine if you do not check these regularly so good thing i did good thing i noticed these issues arising and uh, addressed it before it became further damage than just the throttle body throttle body obviously is just from the fluids maybe maybe just maybe maybe once i clean it and run it with a new check valve it's going to run properly but um driving a lot of distance this weekend going to the convertible fest that Saab's hosting in upstate New York I don't want to risk that so we're gonna go ahead and just replace it anyways I'm gonna clean this up and I'll keep you guys posted on when those parts come in see you in a few all right so before I go get the new throttle body I'm just gonna take off the old one I'm not gonna film it because I don't need to it's very easy all you need to do is there's three 10 millimeter bolts that stack around it. You have these ho hose clamps that you use a um, vice grip on or a pliers. Remove the harness, remove the hose in the back, remove the, the feed inlet here, and that's it. So stay tuned and we're going to take that savvy for a ride as it's cooling off. Try to burn off some more fuel as you saw in the last video right here. I am still testing for an EVAP leak, so that's that. Anyways, we'll see you in a few minutes here while I organize this, and maybe I'll film when I go pick up at the uh, parts car. See you in a few, guys. All right, so we are loose, and I'm not going to remove these two hoses because there's coolant in there, and uh, I'm just going to limit the amount of loss those coolant reservoirs. You know what, maybe? You know what? Maybe we can plug them with these 
Let's see what it looks like. Hold on. No, can't plug it, but I can hook it on here and keep the fluid from draining out. All right, so, all right, one more there and we're done. All right, pretty easy once it's off. Really easy, guys. So there's, there's the uh, intake manifold. Here's our throttle body. It really doesn't look so bad. I bought this thing secondhand uh, off eBay, so I'm wondering why, maybe that's why it went bad. But you can see all the oil that's on it maybe that interfered with the electronics too who knows anyways off to the new one all right guys we are back we are back sorry i didn't film the parts car there wasn't much to really film most of it was taken apart unfortunately however we have our new throttle body in here as you can see everything's really nice and clean hooked up i put a new check valve in a temp check valve that i had laying around and um, a new one is a brand new one's coming in next week so hopefully we don't have this issue again and also all that stuff that was coming out of the valve cover i fixed so we're going to test this thing out we're going to give it its first we're going to give it its first start here and then i'll do the glove test to show you how the check valve works First start on the new throttle body, and um, nice, nice fresh start. Started nicely. That sounds good. Let me pull the dipstick out there and put the glove on it. Make sure that that check valve that's there is working properly the old one I don't know if I said it earlier or not I can blow in in and out of it completely so it was completely shot so it's amazing how those little plastic pieces can literally destroy the entire engine on your Saab so make sure you always check those things I'm surprised that I didn't catch this earlier I mean I noticed some things but didn't think about it until I thought about it I guess that makes sense right so uh, make sure you always have one laying around every couple thousand miles every time you change the oil just check it and uh, make sure it's functioning properly so anyways let's kick this off before it gets way too hot under the hood and uh, put a glove back around the motor oil head here Actually, what I'm gonna do is try to use one of these. You can see that glove is not moving anymore. That's good, guys, that's good. So as you saw there, there was no blow by, which means the check valve is working and we shouldn't have any more issues of fluid coming up through the inlet and obviously no more seals blowing through like the valve cover um, big deal sometimes people can get scared and think that when oil is running up through this inlet pipe to the throttle body from the uh, intercooler that it's the turbo seals and that may not be the case so thanks for watching guys we're gonna take this thing for a quick ride, so stand by. <laughs> 